The word of encouragement today comes from Romans 5, 3 through 5. So I want to invite you now to hear the word of God. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and the character strength uh, strengthens our confident hope of salvation, and it's this hope that will not lead to disappointment. For we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. The word of God for us, the people of God, thanks be unto God. This is one of the passages that we read last night in our Bible study, which, by the way, if you're not in our Bible studies, I want to invite you to join us every Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Uh, the link is in the email or on the website, so just uh, join us. We, I'd really love to have you join us in our, in our, in our discussion. But this, this passage is one of the passages we read, and we talked about how uh, many of us, we, we have to deal with fears and anxieties in our lives, some of them real, some of them made up, but, but they're real to, to the people who, who are experiencing them. them. Uh, we deal with trials and we deal with problems and we deal with so much in, in, in our lives. Uh, it's easy to kind of spiral out of control. Uh, but today we are reminded that no matter what we're going through, no matter what kind of trials or problems, that we can get through them, that we can persevere to the end. We're reminded that, that God is with us, that God has made a way for each and every one of us, that those who are found in Jesus Christ are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we deal and go through these problems, right, because God isn't going to just automatically get rid of them all, we still will have to run into problems, Scripture says here, that we can develop some things, right? We can develop endurance. We can develop strength of character. We can be strengthened in, in, our, in our hope that there is salvation, that as we deal with these things, all these strengths, will develop in our soul, in our lives, that as we deal with more things, uh, we can get through them because we know that God is with us. Well, scripture says, because we know how dearly God loves us because his Holy Spirit has filled us with his love. And all of this leads to living a peaceful life, right? Knowing that that God loves you, that God has forgiven you, that you are not at odds with God, that you are now journeying with God, creates peace in your life. And not only that, now that you have access to God, now that you can cry out to God, now that the Spirit of God is surrounds you, then you can ask God, you can pray to God and ask Him to, to fill your life, your soul, your heart with peace. Scripture says it's a peace that trespasses all, all understanding. So no matter what we're going through, we can experience peace when we know God and when we talk to God. And so I want to encourage you as we journey through this Lenten season and as we might deal with temptations and dealing with trials and problems, look to God. Lean to God and know that he's there. And that will give you peace. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we are so thankful for your works. We're so thankful for Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, that, that you're with us. And that as we deal with everyday life, that we can persevere that we can get through it. And God, knowing that, we're thankful for the peace that comes over us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Sunday morning, come on out. We got worship and we got Sunday school. Sunday school at 10 o'clock, worship at 11. I hope to see you there. Amen. Blessings and peace be unto you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.